Mr. Tulliver loses everything. In 1833, Tom Tulliver was 16. Philip Wakeham had left Mr. Stelling's school. Tom was still studying at the school. It was a cold November day. Tom was alone in the school library. The door opened and Maggie came into the room. She was as tall as Tom and she was very beautiful. Maggie, Tom said, why are you here? Why are you not at your school? Oh, Tom, something terrible has happened, said Maggie. What is it? Tell me, Maggie, Tom said. Father has lost the lawsuit, Tom, said Maggie. Father must pay for everything. He must pay our neighbour's lawyer, Mr. Wakeham. Lost the lawsuit? Father must pay Wakeham money? Tom shouted. Maggie started to cry. There is more bad news, Tom, she said. Father has no money. He cannot pay Wakeham. He will lose the mill, his land, everything. Mother cries all the time, and father... Is father ill? Tom asked. Father is very ill, Maggie replied. He cannot walk. He has forgotten everything. Tom, you must come back to the mill. I hate Wakeham, and I hate his son, Tom said angrily. Never speak to Philip Wakeham again, Maggie. Tom and Maggie went back to Dalcott Mill. Mrs. Tulliver was waiting for them. Oh, Tom, she said, Wakeham's men will take our furniture, our clothes, everything. The next day, Mr. and Mrs. Glegg came to the mill. Mrs. Dean was with them. How is Mr. Tulliver? Mr. Glegg asked. He has forgotten. Everything, Mrs. Tulliver replied, and he has lost everything. We have no money. We have nothing. This is terrible news, said Mrs. Dean. There is no money to pay for education, said Mrs. Glegg. Tom must get a job, and Maggie must stay here. She must help her mother. Tom spoke to his aunts. Please lend me some money, he said. I will get a job. I will pay the money back to you. Your aunts cannot lend you any money, said Mr Glegg. They need their money. They get interest on their money. <laughs>